Hello everyone, we are watching Tales of the Empire. I'm your host, Ronan Chain. I have me with Samuel Leggett and Busy Braun to watch this series. Muchachos, how are we doing? How are we feeling? I'm okay. Good. Good. I'll take that. Um, <laughs> I I want to give you a heads up that Sam doesn't know too much the backstory of these two characters. I think he's semi-familiar with them, at least one of them. Um, Busy and I kind of know more about the lore in the, in the Clone Wars era, so I think we're both pumped to see where this stuff leads. And if Tales of the Jedi has teaches anything, is that trust in Dave Filoni, trust in Brad Round, trust in the people in animation. They deliver. They always deliver. Whoa. <gasps> oh, so we dive in. This is Dothan me, right? <laughs> yes! I am getting Whoa. the fuck up. Oh my god. Whoa. Is it? Oh my effing god. This is freaking Dothan me. Yo, isn't that old girl? Yo, Ronan, what are the chances we're going to see Marin? Wait, isn't that her Ronan. from, uh... this way. From what? From Ahsoka. No, no, no. Get Morgan Elspeth. But that's not that's not specifically her. This is like her group. Let's go. Come so on. it's showing what oh, oh. Wow. Oh, holy <laughs> crap balls. Bro. General Gravy. It is so fire to see in other than her. Stay back. That is definitely her. Behind this shit. Yo. Yo. So grievous, bro. They going right into this hardcore. Dang. He's so cool. Dang. Dang. Oh, the He's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. Oh crap. Oh, Grievous is so cool. Oh, oh my god, I love that. Oh my god, I never thought I'd love to hear his voice. Oh, it's so cool to hear his voice! How many years has it been since we've heard his voice? Oh, bro. Oh, hey! Shit. Oh! This nice. is fucking Dang. crispy! Oh. Wow. Oh. What a start, dude. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Tales of the end. Wow, what a freaking star. Holy crap. The, the path, path of, fear. of fear. Wow. Damn. I love that they're doing this. Mm -hmm. So there's the Night Sisters, there's the brothers, which Maul and Savage are from. And mm. now we have the Mountain Clan. There's so mm. many stories they can tell with doing this. Like, we got Tales of the Jedi, we got Tales of the Empire. I want tales of the rebels. I want. I just want them to go crazy with this shit, you know. Hey, dang. dang! Look at this. Literally, Look at this. literally the dude. same feeling as a Jedi, bro. That's Losing fucking... every one of her people. That's dirt, dude. That's fuck. Oh my god, the animation is so. <laughs> they never disappoint, though. That's the thing. It just keeps getting better and better. It's wow. I watched my mother die. Are you prepared for the same? Dang. Knowing there was more you could have done to prevent it. Fight the role model. Wait, what are you in? What are you inferring? What are you saying? She wants them to fight. To do what? Doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about? Well, I'm not the one who said it. She said it. I don't know what is she gonna do. Wants to kill him, and then I'm the Okay, whoa, what the? Look. Oh, 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 what? Yo, what the 
fuck? What is happening right now? Is she a force user? That shit looks like what, what Master Yoda uses, but tenfold. You know how he, like, what? absorbs the blaster fire and then releases it? Hold Just hold because someone does not want to fight, that they are not capable. Damn. Now, where is my daughter? Oh, no. Oh, don't tell me that's the one that got killed. Or she's still alive for a little bit. She would have just waited. She may have actually learned that. Your path is set, Morgan Elspeth. Yep. That's wild. Morgan Elspeth, that's the first time they said her name. For I can see what is to come. I love that, bro. Morgan Elspeth. Yeah, Rona, we got to talk about this after. Did y'all ever think we were going to get a whole episode dedicated to Morgan Elspeth? No way, that's it. Yeah, it's 14 minutes, man. <laughs> All right, folks, we have seen episode one of Tales of the Empire, The Path of Fear, and we're reintroduced to Morgan Elspeth, but at a younger age and in a more communal way. Uh, we see the attack on what we believe is Dathomir and her people, the Night Sisters. I love this short. It's simple, and yet you see how tragic it feels, how much echoes of uh, the Jedi Purge there are and what happens when immediately after that she gets some help and leans into the fear leans into the anger and whatnot and the repercussions of it fellas what do you think how we feel i think it was beautiful i mean although i thought we were gonna little get a little more of grievous it was just really cool to see that updated design considering that what we saw of grievous mm -hmm. in season seven of clone wars was minimal considering they only showed like kind of like a, a introduction from what we got, like a summary of what we got in Return of the uh, Revenge of the Sith. So it was really cool to see an updated version of him and to see him shredding through um um you know some of Dathomir's civilians. Ah, it was, it's such a cool sequence. I mean, Grievous is already cool on his own, and it's the first time we've heard his voice in how long? Like, it was just it was such a cool uh, opening, and I think it was a really really strong start to a series. Nice. What about you, Sam? Yeah, I loved Isba's story. I loved yes. like seeing her people. I mean, it was reminiscent of Order 66. And my, my whole thing about it, honestly, is the path. The path that she went and took, like when she met with the mountain people, and we got the reveal at the end of the, the main lady that what she had abilities of doing. And it seemed like she was very force sensitive. If she would have leaned into not trying to do vengeance she mm -hmm. would have learned that eventually yeah. she would have learned to defend she would have learned a different level of power but instead we know the path she went down if you looked at the soka series so i just love the fact of the reality of how a person can react one way or another and this path that she went on it was purged by fear and vengeance and it's just very fascinating how they did it i thought it was really well done i agree um, folks, those that will be doing these small, short versions of reviews per episode, and then we'll get into bigger once we finish the whole series as a whole. Um, animation is spot on. Uh, yeah, there you go. Look at that effect. Um, animation, uh, Lucasfilm, you spoil us. You just keep knocking out of the ballpark. The Kiners come at us again with his music, and um, uh, Kathy Yang or wh whoever played the young version of Morgan Elspeth did a phenomenal job, and yeah. I, this is a, a great start to this series that I think is going to deliver. So we'll see you in the next episode. What's up, everyone? So we're back with another episode of Tales of the Jedi. We are at episode two. The first episode was an extreme. I haven't read the synopsis for any of this. I don't know what episode two is based on. I honestly didn't think the Journal Grievous episode was going to be, or the Morgan Elizabeth, whatever you want to call it, wasn't going to happen until later on in the series. But, I mean, here we are. So let's dive into episode two. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do let's it. Get unchained. Yes. Dude, it's like you're doing it to bother me, man. I just, I don't get it. <laughs> my boy chip and shatter. <laughs> ah, my boy is cultured. Why? Why? Why are you eating your salt, dude? Oh, I'm hungry. I hope that's not salt for real. Is this after the purge? Is this right after? I'm oh, assuming. Wait. The music that's playing and the fight yeah. the Star Destroyer is this close. Wait, what purge are y'all talking about? Order 66. It's another word for the purge.
Uh, You'll hear the Jedi refer to it as that. Increase maneuverability and lower fuel consumption. And most important, <laughs> shields. To better protect your pilots and keep them on the field of battle for longer intervals. <clears throat> Aside Wait, is that who I think cost, it is? Which would be astronomical. How feasible is the production of these? Yo, it's her. No way, bro. Again? My base of operations is hey, This is like the Soka joint. Nah, so yeah. yeah. That's so We're going to see why she's hooked to Thrawn. System. We're going to see a young Thrawn. Thank you for your presentation, Magistrate. We will be there in short order to take what is rightfully ours. Wow. Now that she's I older. I return to your world and prepare for our arrival. Will we see the actual voice actor, like the um, actual actress for Morgan Elizabeth? That's that the Angelina Santo. Santo. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's nah, fire, like, bro. Here's the crazy thing. That has a connection to Rebels. But I am curious to know about the mind that came up with them. I don't understand why. My area sends me to these meetings to search. I don't know who y'all talking about. Particular <gasps> vision. I wanted to tell him something else. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules! Oh my god! I don't even know why y'all so excited. I'll explain it later. When we do the big review, I'll explain it because there's not enough time for those shorts. <laughs> Tales of the Empire. The Path, the path of Anger. Anger. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, like legit nerdy now. <laughs> I am, right? Pause it if you're gonna bounce. Oh, the ship from Ahsoka! What the fuck? And that's the fucking planet. Holy shit. Sam, please tell me you recognize this. Hold on, say it again. Please tell me you recognize any of this. <coughs> oh, what's the. Wait. Isn't this the planet that Morgan Esbitt was at? Uh, she was based at? Yes, yeah. sir, in the Mandalorian. But your promises yeah. work. Episode 5 and prosperity. We sacrificed for you. You lie, Magistrate. Everything comes at a cost, including failure. Wow. <laughs> wow. Failure. Wait. You promised us more. We lied. What do we do? <laughs> How could they ever be? I think this is earlier than that, bro. I was about to say, this has got to be before that. This is they were already. Yeah, this is earlier than that, man. Rook! Holy shit! Wait. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Isn't that. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Nah, bro. Uh oh. My boy's getting his licks in. This fight is a test. Ooh. Oh, no wonder <laughs> Joker had a hard time with her. That's nice. I'm glad they're showing this though. Really shows that she's no fucking joke. To let her do it. Let him do it. <sighs> nice. Nice. Oh. God damn. Who sent you? Well done, magistrate. Nah, bro. Thank you, Rook. That will be all. What Forgive the, the theatrics, but we had to make sure you were capable of handling yourself. Wow. You're testing me. And you will Do understand it. in a moment. Wait, what? It's like a gangster movie. What the fuck? History remembers the witches of Dathomir. 
Yo! My boy Thrawn! I was curious to witness a display of your Young particular Thrawn. skills. Why not experience them firsthand? Oh, you misunderstand. That's tough. That's My tough. interest is based on admiration and oh. ambition. Who are you? Admiral Thrawn. Captain Pallion told me the finer details yeah, of your you presentation. Years ago, my people were all but destroyed. Our culture, our beliefs, are fading into memory. Yes, I seek power to ensure my future, to destroy my enemies. My anger gives me strength, and it Fuck is yeah. that strength that I offer the Empire. Offer accepted. That is so <laughs> cool. Oh, oh, no. Holy crap. Wow. That is, what a oh, shot. My feet. They'll be at your disposal to begin your operation. What does this mean? Your steam. Is it good? Nah, y'all was free. What do you no. fucking think? It means she won. Long live the Empire. Long ah, win ah, the Empire! Guys, dog. Freak. So man. we're really getting a string of episodes like we did with Dooku, but for her. Dooku that's, and that's, Ahsoka. Yep. That's awesome, man. What'd you say? Dooku and Ahsoka. For Ahsoka, did we get a string? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go back and pick this shit out. That's fucking great. Holy moly. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for another mini uh, review thought short of episode two, Tales of the Empire, The Path of Anger. Muchachos, <laughs> holy shit. This episode sends Morgan Elspeth straight down more to hell in a will, in, in a way. Um, we get her ambitions, how she first hides it. We get how she more or less... Where she ends up where we meet her first time in Mandalorian season two. A lot, a lot. Uh uh Paleon, Thrawn, the, mm -hmm. the the point of view of the people of that planet. Um I am shitting bricks. How do we feel, y'all? How do we how do you both feel about what you just saw? I didn't know Xander Berkeley played fucking Paleon, bro. That kind of blew my <laughs> mind. I'm not gonna lie. To see, I don't know if you're familiar. Do you know who Xander Berkeley is, Samuel? Like, no. you know, you know Gregory in The Walking Dead? Mm -hmm. That's my boy Xander Berkeley. So the, the, the see such a familiar face, man. It, it kind of blew my mind because I'm familiar with the character, but I just didn't know, like you know. But like other than that, it was really cool to see a continuation of Morgan Elizabeth's um story. Of course, they did this with Dooku, and I guess they did it with Ahsoka. Um, we got like yeah. little strings of episodes, and it's really cool because we're starting the second episode, and I truly didn't expect her to see her again. But we got a continuation, and we dive into where we saw her in episode five of season two of The Mandalorian, which was the first introduction to live action Ahsoka. So yes. it was really cool to kind of like see that all kind of come together and to see young friggin' Thrawn, like, dude. Dude, like, like as a Star Wars fan, this is just beautiful to see. The animation has been peak. Like, this shot alone is one of my like favorite shots so far. Um, in a, a Clone Wars animation, like this is this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like, if we got this by a sixteen by nine shot, I would get a poster of that joint. That's how yeah. beautiful that shit is. But like, they have done such a phenomenal job, uh, with these first two episodes, and I'm just I'm so excited for more. Uh, Sam, how are we feeling? Yeah, is amazing one that they're continuing down this rabbit hole of the scent of who this character actually is in this and we go back to where we first see her from the mandalorian series when she got an altercation with ahsoka and understanding kind of how it works with the people that she was connected to but yeah. i'm gonna say this because again i don't know enough about thrawn but they use in the shortest amount of time to show how much of a calculated genius that he is. Dare I say, I think they may have done it better here than they did even in the Ahsoka series. And I'm gonna leave it at that. That's a that's a, that's a trigger question. <laughs> but they some of the things that he was saying, I was like, I need more of that because yeah. this shows he knows exactly what he's talking about, and there's so much more meaning behind what he's trying to do. But yeah, I yeah. thought it was great. 
Um, folks, that's all. We got to get to the next episode, but make sure to tune in to our full review of this series. Um, it's going to get meaty, and there's a lot of geeking out. So stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. All right, everybody. We are back with episode three of Tales of the Empire. Um, Kick-ass start, one-two punch, and I don't know what's going on. I literally don't know what's going to happen in this episode. So we're back now when it feels it's more aged out. Like This feels more like, like what we so saw. So this is probably where Soka... Because we saw what? bodies hanging in that joint, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is oh yeah, this is definitely way more. Dang, he definitely oh, aged. My boy aged, yeah. Oh bro, what would you have said, Ronan, if it was um the ship? Friggin, oh, if it was uh the jar and ship. The razor crest? Oh yes. I would have I would have started like crying. But this is the new <laughs> republic. Wow. Yep. Wow. Them suits go crazy, bro. Look at this shit. So this is after the fall of the Empire. Yeah, so the war is over. Rebellion won. Oh, we got to wow. get an R4. Uh, you did, um... So we jumped like 10 years. Open the gate in the name of the New Republic. Yes. That's so cool. Wait, so is after the Soka situation or before? No, this is... I think it's right it's before. Hard, it's early to tell. It's too early yeah. to tell. They about to all get slaughtered. Low key. Yeah, thanks for being positive. <laughs> that little R2 unit, though. Or whatever he is. R4, R4. unit. <laughs> We're nerds. I was going to say that. <laughs> we get no pussy. Like, <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, no. Wait, what? Yeah. I'm now an ambassador of the New Oh, wow. Republic. That's the girl. There was a special assembly. Before. So she was part of this town. The distant world yeah. petition wow. for membership. So here I am. The New Republic? Yes, the Galactic Empire was defeated. You don't know? Wow, they didn't even know. Dang. They're still under oppression. Some news reaches Russian. us more slowly than others. That's actually real in the real life. <laughs> Mercenaries, I think, coming and going. My the people queen. are afraid. I have my guards. It won't be enough. It won't. I will speak with her. I don't know if that's a good idea. It's doubtful. She'll even see you. Dude, Ronan. No one goes in. Even if she sees you. Do not worry. What if this episode ends Things with them alerting changed. Ahsoka? Bro, everything has changed. Let's ride Maybe the wave, bro. Fuck that shit. Ride the wave. Let's see. <laughs> the path of hate. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Somebody getting killed. Somebody getting killed. Ronan. Like... Ronan. I didn't even watch the trailer. I don't know. Good. Good. I saw the thumbnail of Grievous, and that was it. Good. Oh, this is what we saw. Yes. Oh yeah, this lines up. Oh, I swear it's whooped their ass. Dude, it's so cool to see it in animation, bro. Yeah. It feels like nothing changed though, that's the thing. That's how crispy this shit is. The first thing we see out of her is the dagger. Oh. The staff, dude, that shit is fire. Right. Magistrate Elspeth, I am here on behalf of the New Republic. I brought a petition to the Senate for Corvus to become a member planet. Your crimes are well known. Step down willingly. Turn yourself in. Please. I can help you get a fair trial. Don't burn everything down around you. Oh, has been burning. She couldn't have said that since I was a child. She have said burning of all Why things. Should this wouldn't be any different. Wow! Oh. Wow! Yo, that's wild. They're dead. The old man ain't gonna die. Kill her. All right. Send a distress signal. All right, really? Yeah, y'all might be right. Whoever said it. Don't, don't, don't give me. Wait, so is that an R8 unit or an R4 yes, unit? R8, so she said R8, yeah. Okay. Wow, that's smart. Right. They call in Fulcrum. They call in Fulcrum. Rona's gonna cry by the end of this episode. I can predict this. <laughs> nah, because she doesn't come until it's all foggy and shit, so I don't think. Rona's gonna cry by the end of this episode. I predict this. Jesus. Dude, even if it just shows the back of her Why? Head. Why? Why do this? Sending a message. Because they're scumbags. 
but she literally lives there. Oh my god. Or does she? Because remember, they say they don't, they don't really see her. You can make a difference. A few moments later. There is always hope. And I just didn't know whether or not it was going to come from Ahsoka. I didn't know oh whether it was Oh my gosh. Come. And the... Noon is coming. Wow. This is good, bro. No one is coming. Wow. That's a shot. Wow. You know what I love? The actor that played um Governor wow. Wayne in Mandalorian is voicing the you know the character that's playing, you know, Governor Wing here. Yeah. So it's uh it looks like him everything. It's great. All right, buddy. We have just seen episode three. Here's a short review of the, the Path of Hate. What a what a way to connect live action storytelling of, 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 I think, one of the most important, remarkable episodes of live action Star Wars of all time to this one. Again, we see almost, almost, almost a, a dishonoring way. You see Morgan Elspeth turn and become the very thing she experienced as a child when her, her world and her and the people she loved uh perished i dug it i dug the 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 the, the sides of point of views and how she almost sees herself as, as a messiah complex that shot damn man damn that's going on my, on my thumbnail um i fucking <laughs> some would say this is a layup but i dug just the, the vibe of it what did you think of it sam oh me oh dude this is freaking nuts um i kind of was like wait i recognize this area and I was like, wait, no, this is the actual location and how it's supposed to be. I just didn't know, was this right before Ahsoka got there or a little bit after? And when, yeah. you know, we had like the, the New Republic coming, I was like, yeah, they're going to slaughter. They're going to slaughter all of them. And the fact that this is the path to hate, I mean, that's the follow up. I mean, of course, fear, anger, hatred is all leads to ultimate Dark destruction. Side. But there is always hope. And I just didn't know whether or not it was going to come from Ahsoka. I didn't know whether oh it was going to And the fact that that was the voice, I thought that that was a really great touch. So, great episode. And and I think this makes a lot of sense because I didn't think much of it at, at all because we know Ahsoka eventually ends up there. But who sent Din Djarin after Ahsoka? The one person that knew who she, you know, where she would be. And mm -hmm. it makes a lot of sense that this is Bo-Katan because Bo-Katan literally told uh, uh, uh Dinjarin, where to go? So it's just it makes a lot of sense. Works out perfect. Didn't even realize it was her voice until the credits, and it was just such a cool surprise. I yeah, I agree. I I for sure th I thought it was Rosario first. I'm like, wait a minute, I love Rosario. She's live action Ahsoka, but actually Ashley should be voicing Eckstein is Ahsoka. Our Ahsoka. But what a but what a good thing. And I think even Feloni and people love are gonna have a laugh. Be like, huh, let's see who catches up on it first. Um yeah, man, this is this is different than Tales of the Jedi. Tales of the Jedi, it went back and forth. It started with Ahsoka, then two episodes of, of uh, Dooku, and then, no, no, three episodes of Dooku, I think, and then it went back to Ahsoka. So it's very, very intriguing to see how they're playing out this series thus far. And we're at the halfway mark, boys. So I say let's just get on to episode four and see how this goes forward. Uh, we will see you back in the next episode, everybody. Later, guys. Hey, the homie.